Hello and welcome back to Subnautica. So, just had the bones update. And this is one of the new things. So this is a precursor structure, which you can't seem to get into, as far as I can tell. It's going to be one of four they're going to add to the game, apparently. I assume they'll be explorable at some point, even if they're not now. So we have these, what look like possible entrance ways. Perhaps you could use a laser to get in. Okay, I've spawned in a laser cutter just to make sure. No. It doesn't look like you can go in, but... No. Oh, my gun. My laser cutter can. But anyway. Now you can find it. Actually, let's get a seam off. Just around a little corner by the new... I can't remember how, what you call it. The Cyanid tree? It's just over here. There it is. It looks like we've got a hot vent here. So anyway, it's just around this corner, so it's easy to miss. It took me a while to find it. So there's quite a few spawn sea moss around. If you go up through there, you get to the the point where you'll spawn in if you teleport to the Lost River Zone. So also there's been a lot of improvements to Lost River Zone, as you can see. There's a lot of cosmetic work. There's two new areas. One's the Ghost Forest, I think, and there's the Bone Fields. As well as the two old areas, the Lost River Junction and Lava River Connector, which have both been improved as well. So I think these are basically the trees which make up the Ghost Forest, which isn't this bit, I don't... I don't believe. I'm not as exactly sure. Anyway, let's head over here. Just have a look. So you can see it's all different. It's all filled in now with stuff rather than just being a fairly bare landscape. There's also a new creature here. Let's have a look at this. I think this was ghost weed or something. Now where's the creature? There it is. So we have a river prowler. I don't think it's got any particular abilities. It is aggressive. I don't know exactly how dangerous it is. So it's spectacularly ugly. Hello. Very weird. Creatures in this game are great. Oh, that knocked the seam off. And so... Okay, it's attacking me. So apart from these, as you can see, there's... Lots of improvements down here. This in particular looks really great now. There's also a few other things. There's some new graphics for the suits. And there's air pipes, which do pretty much what you think they'll do. And also one more thing. So I'm going to have to teleport to the safe shallows to have a look. Okay, here we are. We've got a reef back, which we're going to have a look at. So I have got all the settings turned down, and I am running at 720p resolution. The reason for that isn't because it makes any great difference, because I think when it loads in objects it's still jerky no matter what the resolution or settings are. I haven't really noticed a great deal of performance, but the one thing that did happen is that when I teleported to a zone, I fell through the f floor before it loaded. Oh. Well, that's weird. So everything's right down so I could actually teleport without bugging out. So weirdly, we've got three reef backs in one place. Which I've never seen before. I don't think I've seen more than one together. 
So on their backs, they have these, well, as their name suggests, they now have reefs. What's that? There seems to be quite a few new plants I've either not noticed before or that have been added. In particular, there are some barnacles you can break open. Oh. And we've got a tiger plant firing at me. So all of these reef backs are unique. No, I can't see any barnacles on this one. What's that? No, oh, nothing. Just a hover thing. They have having a bit of a a jam at the minute, so we've got Oh dear. Come on, stop doing that. There's the barnacle. Right, you can break these open, maybe. Oh dear, this is not good. And they have resources in. Like whatever that is, flying about. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, come on. Ah. Copper. Oh well. Okay, we'll leave that one. Will you stop messing about? We've got a rouge cage plant or something here I've not seen before. Rouge cradle. And red welt. So I've not seen these before. I don't know if they're new or unique to the reef backs, but I've not noticed them before. Let's try this one. Oh, so we have titanite, I should... titanium rather. <laughs> no silver ore, so that's not bad. And there's one more thing I want to find, but I haven't at any point yet, and that is a baby reef back. I think they're quite rare. I've not seen one at all. Which is a shame, let's just have a look. Perhaps they hide in the in the weed. <coughs> no, no babies here. Perhaps they're down here. Let's just check. No, let's have a look at you. So we've got these things as well. I've not regress shell. I'm sure I've not seen them before. Well, it might be that I've just not swum around much between patches. Oh god, they're bumping e into each other again. No, I'm pretty sure there's no babies there. Let's just check this one again. I don't know if the barnacles respawn on them. There's one. Let's have another look to see what we can get. Copper, I think. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's fallen through it. Oh, I'm falling through it. Well, apparently there are there are baby reef backs. If you can find them. We got it. What's this? No, oh, just normal old stuff. More wreckage, of which there is an awful lot these days. I think it's pretty useless. Biohazard. What's that? No. Where are they? Oh, there. But anyway, so that's the bones update. Not that much functional stuff. But the Lost River Zone does look like it's finished now, not just a work in progress. Look. Tiger, stop it. So I can't remember seeing those either. Perhaps they weren't called tiger plants. I know there's things that fire at you. But anyway. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time 
in the lovely seas of Subnautica.